Quick news, 8100, how y'all doing? I'm watching some uh, RLJ at Frog Pond School. You got some uh, cool faces, and uh, he kind of inspired me to get into the faces since we're on that topic here. Um, not all of these are faces, but uh, there's a few. Uh, sometimes you can pick them out, sometimes you can't. Zoomed in pretty close, so it's hard to. Uh, I don't know if you see one there. I I always thought that was a guy right there. This guy here. He's kind of got a feather coming out his ear there and hair, and it's a character character. Uh, uh, I messed that up really there. Caricature. Yeah, that's a hard word to say, but uh, cartoons. Uh, they use, uh, you know, cartoon faces almost on some of them uh, as their art. Uh, you know, there's just some of them are just clear as day. He's got a feather coming out his hat or his head. You know, nice big nose there. And it looks like a Asian fella. He's got kind of a squintier eye there. Never know. But yeah, this one has uh, that guy and then this guy here. Uh, let's get him. Come on, focus. Yeah, he's hard to get. Just trying to get my fingers instead of him. But there he is. He's got a beard, some kind of hat on, fur coat. So he's down there. And he's up here. So Just an amazing uh, find, this one. And then possibly a, a beaver there. If you're looking hard enough. Um, yeah, there's possibly a few things going on on this thing. Anyway, we'll move on. Uh, you know, the attempts at uh, making art out of rocks was pretty good. Like uh, the, the elephant there on the top, but it's also the eye of the sea turtle, or I believe it's a sea turtle. Uh, there, like they're. Uh, there's probably a face on this one somewhere, but might be a little worn out. Who knows? Yeah, there you go. Turtle Island and Elephant Island. I'm pretty sure that's what we're uh, dealing with here on Earth. Uh, there she is. Um, move on here. Found this at the beach a couple days ago. That was perfectly symmetrical. Uh, Almost like a jewelry piece, but it's a, got some good markings on it. Crystal y, uh, yeah, it was worth keeping. Showing you guys. Just washed up on Long Point Beach. Um, you know, we got uh, kind of a fossil here, but it looks like a nose and an eye, and you know. We're working with these things, trying to figure them out. Our fossil. You can see all the different layers in this one. It's a big one. Whatever this was. Definitely didn't come from around here. It must have been the trading item or something because this is a big fossil. 
Okay. Another face here. Stones flattened out on this side for grinding and whatnot. Almost looks organic, doesn't it? Fleshy. Very odd. Yeah. Got a crystal in his nose. Showed this guy before. Yeah. Um, I thought this might have been a small bird head. Could be, might not be, just an odd pink stone with some crystals in it. Quartz, whatever you'd like to call it. And this guy here, side profile. This is a blue quartz. Yeah, the same material as this one I found the other day. It's about the same. Um, Very soft material. I was wondering if this one was maybe a some kind of axe head or something or a knife they were using. Maybe it was sharp at one time here. But yeah. There he is there. Feather feather coming down off his head. His nose is a little little off, but Pretty sure that's what we're seeing there. Um, just some kind of granite. It's pink on the other side. Once again, very fleshy. Temp there at a face, maybe. Yeah, could be. I forget what this type of uh, crystal is, but you can see how smooth that is. I was thinking there might be a bird in here. Using this as the wing, but maybe face. Oh, it's hard to tell, or some kind of creature coming up over the top here. Um, yeah. Let me know what you see. This side's just a little dirtier. I need to clean it. Uh, but so yeah, we'll keep getting into the faces there, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get somewhere with all this work. Um, no sense giving up yet. There's uh, still a lot of rocks out there. goblin creature here uh, he's wearing a cowl you know there's his mouth there's his nose very uh very odd looking creature here uh, we've got it's either the bear or the buffalo on that side um, I was thinking more bear but you never know um, possibly a robin there, but or is that the face on that side? It's a little more crude. Okay. Anyway, I will uh, do one more and end the video. I know there's lots of. Uh, 
lots of videos you guys got to watch out there so i try to try to make mine short as possible anyway so you can keep moving this i think is an old kneecap Let's see if i can put it down it's heavy um yeah kneecap from a giant Mud Fossil University. If you can find the time to check this out, I'll probably mail it to you. You can do DNA testing on it because this thing is bony, very bony. You got the holes where the leg bones would have gone into there. And pretty sure that's what I've been learning from you, but. This thing is nuts. There's a kneecap there. That's no art on this one, isn't it? Well, none that I can see right now, anyway. Yeah, archaeologists, anybody see this thing and think it might be. Something other than a kneecap? Let me know. Okay, talk to you guys later.